Persistent isolated mild thrombocytopenia is a very, very common clinical problem. Uh, primary care providers uh, see these patients, don't exactly know what to do with them. They have a platelet count between 100 and 149,000, so slightly reduced. Uh, it's persistent, it's isolated in that they don't have other blood counts that are uh, affected, just the platelets. Um, they sometimes get referred to hematology specialists, sometimes not. Often the hematology specialists don't exactly know what to do with them because it's a mild problem. But what, what does it mean? Does it portend some problem in the future? Actually, some work that we did recently actually suggests that it, it may, uh, that these patients appear to be at significantly increased risk of immune thrombocytopenia, as well as the development of hematologic malignancies. And we understand that there's in that this relatively large population of patients with persistent isolation mild thrombocytopenia, there are patients who have clonal abnormalities in their hematopoiesis, there are patients that have hereditary thrombocytopenia syndromes, there are patients that have a sort of form frust of ITP, an early immune thrombocytopenia kind of state. But the real conundrum is, this is these patients are so common, do we spend the money and, and the time to work up every single one of them with NGS panels and looking for hereditary thrombocytopenias and all of this? Um, and that's what the creation of the clinical guidance statement is about. So um, as co-chair of uh, the platelet immunology uh, SSC subcommittee here at ISTH, you know, we're going to discuss uh, uh, what we can do uh, in terms of uh, developing a guidance statement in this based on the data that we have, understanding that, um, you know, we st there's still more that needs to be, you know, learned about this and, you know, no, no guidance is perfect, but right now there's no guidance at all. And so we, we may have enough data at this point, we, we do have enough data at this point to say something about it.